What's up dreamers? We're outside on the trampoline. This video isn't really that planned, but there are some very special people I'm going to introduce you to, give you a little life update. Let's do it. Firstly, this is my daughter Happy. She will be three this year. She's been bags of fun. Even during lockdown, she's just so happy and loves to sing and dance. There is a new addition to our family who I'm yet to introduce you to properly, but I will right now. He is now two months old and he is so content. He's so chubby, he's so cute. His name is Moses and let me get him right now. Here he is, the man, the myth, the legend, baby Moses. He's looking cute right now. Moses is amazing. He is so content, so sweet. A mummy's boy. He loves his mummy. Watch out, Ronaldo. We got a future soccer star happening right now. Oh, okay. Working on the running side of things. One thing that I have learnt this year is about the importance of family and the treasure that is family and what family looks like right now so uh, not only has our family expanded as you can see and we're sort of juggling life with two kids which is why I can't always make the hundreds of videos and content that I could make I've been prioritizing just being with these two on my weekends slash these three and also with lockdown we haven't been able to see some family members but we have sort of bubbled with my mum and just seeing my parents a lot more than I used to see them and they've been looking after us helping out playing with the kids wow family really does last forever and they are always in your life and it's worth investing in and yeah I've just really seen the blessing of family this year I can also appreciate that family doesn't always look the same to you as it does to me and family can mean friends family can mean your dog and your cat or your granny or whoever it is that you're close to and that you're connected to and that has invested in you this year I feel like we've had a year where some of us have known who has really been our family and our support crew and I think that's fine if it looks different and if it looks different for you. What are the big three? One, I am brave, I am pretty, I am loved. That's right, you are brave, pretty and loved. Those are the three declarations we get happy to say over herself most evenings and she started saying them over Moses and he'll learn too. I used to say like a whole poem of declarations over her, but now that she's sort of getting up and running around and not listening and sitting as well, it's a little bit harder. Yeah, so this is my miracle of this year. And I just think in the midst of your life right now, though it seems barren, though it seems nothing's going on, though it may feel like a wilderness, though it may feel just empty and pointless or without vision, find the miracle. Um, I've got a actual physical manifestation of that miracle, but there is a miracle to be found and uh, it may take some looking for, it may take some searching, but God has a miracle for you in the midst of pain, in the midst of disappointment, in the midst of confusion. So just encourage you to search him, ask him, ask him what is that miracle you have for my life? What is that miracle you want me to discover this year? If you look back at 2020 and you feel burden and you feel disappointment, he wants to deal with that. Um, I wanna be able to speak of 2020 as the year that I grew closer to him. 2020 is the year that I found him to be something knew that I'd not seen of him before, you know. Um, I remember Graham Cook says that, he says, in a situation where you come up against something, ask God, what is it you're wanting to be in this moment to me that you've not been able to be to me before? Maybe it's protector, maybe it's provider. We've seen him be provider this year more than ever. Um, and so, yeah, I think it's just asking him, what miracle do you have for me in the midst of this? Well, obviously I'm thankful for such a wise wife who's teaching me things in 2020 and teaching me how to be thankful, but you might be like me and finding it hard to find other things to be thankful for, to find reasons to be positive at this time. You might be like, well, I don't know what my miracle is. It's been an absolute sucky year. That's okay. I'm taking some time in January to reflect, to journal, and to ask God, what is it that you've been doing in me I really need to know. If you've got something you're thankful for recently, then do drop it in the comments below. Why not? Thank you guys, you are wonderful. You are a miracle. See ya, peace.